Hello there. Did you know that the TV series The Virginian debuted 61 years ago? Many of us have fond memories of being glued to our TV screens, watching this iconic series. Imagine the fun of gathering your family, settling onto the sofa, and revisiting this classic, comparing the cast from then to now. Let's start with James Drury, who starred as The Virginian. He was 28 when the series began in 1962. Sadly, he passed away at 85 from natural causes on April 6, 2020 in Houston, Texas. Harper, bring him in a little closer. The boys can get at him. Just bring him in, guys. Try and get one that isn't so slippery. Fire Jason, do you no, fire on the way or you always love it? I've always, uh, we had class division when I was a kid in, in the house with the, the old grandma. Lee J. Cobb, who played Judge Henry Garth, was 51 in 1962. He passed away from a heart attack at 64 on February 11, 1976, in Woodland Hills, California. I know how you feel. Nobody works for me for nothing. But for you, give your daddy some of this, make him feel better. West, long distance, Special delivery card. Blanche, you know. Tim Matheson, who portrayed Jim Horn, was just 22 in 1969. Now at 75, he is enjoying a full life in Glendale, California. <laughs> they look good dancing together, don't they? Mighty good looking couple. Well, I sure didn't know the Ramrod could dance like that. He hardly ever dances around the when the day's work was about to be done, I think we'd had one shot left. Michael comes back with an NBC or KNBC, then local. Catherine Crawford, who played Alice Lawford, was 19 in 1963. Now, at 79, she is living a healthy life, pursuing many passions in Los Angeles, California. CLU Gulliger played Emmett Riker at the age of 35 in 1963. Sadly, he passed away at 93 from an illness on August 5, 2022, in Los Angeles, California. They fix fences when holes appear in the wire fences. Ride the and fence. they do from time to time because things happen. Doug McClure, who brought the character Trampus to life, was 27 in 1962. He passed away from lung cancer at 59 on February 5th, 1995, in Sherman Oaks, California. I liked him. Well, when they catch him, you can be a character with us at the trial. <laughs> I'd do him a lot of good. Well, I'd take Call him to congratulate him, and he never called me back. And I know he can dial. He used Wilbur's phone all the time. <laughs> Randy Boone, who played Randy Benton, was 22 in 1964. He's now 81 and living fully in Fayetteville, North Carolina. It won't sing quite so bumpy if we'll all sing along. Oh, wait for the wagon. on my watch. <laughs> Not one. <laughs> Sarah Lane, who portrayed Elizabeth Granger, was just 17 in 1966. She passed away at 73 from breast cancer on March 3, 2023, in Napa, California. What was her name? Mary told me it was Sally, but not as good as me. <laughs> <laughs> Gary Clark, who played Steve Hill, was 29 in 1962. Now, at 89, 
he is living a vibrant life in Los Angeles, California. There's something about you that, uh, I don't know, your eyes or something reminds me of somebody. John McIntyre, who played Clay Granger, was 60 in 1967. He passed away from emphysema at 83 on January 30th, 1991, in Pasadena, California. Nancy Sinatra portrayed the character Carrie at 23 in 1963. Now, at 83, she is living happily with her family and friends in Jersey City, New Jersey. she be presented as a lady and not be thought of as something other than just that. Roberta Shore, who portrayed Betsy Garth, was 19 in 1962. At 80, she is living a joyful life with family and friends in Monterey Park, California. We'd love to hear from you about who your favorite character from The Virginian is. Please share your thoughts in the comments below. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you won't miss any of our upcoming videos. We look forward to sharing more nostalgic content with you. Thank you and see you soon.